Good morning to you. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, I'm here in the parking lot uh, with a, just a little uh, hint over there on the side. Uh, keep your eyes out for that. And uh, also uh, here in the parking lot to uh, just remind you about our worship service right here in the parking lot tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hope you can uh, join us. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, I'm going to anyway. Uh, I just said about uh, the front parking lot. But uh, if it's a good day tomorrow, uh, let's plan to meet here in the back and uh, bring your lawn chair, just like me. And uh, you can come have a, a seat here in the open air and we can uh, appropriately distance ourselves. And uh, let's have our worship service uh, here in the back. If the weather's good, uh, we'll plan for that. And uh, here's some uh, further instructions about uh, live stream. Uh, sorry for that interruption. Now back to the video. Uh, as well, live stream is still available to you. If you'd like to uh, join us from home, uh, feel free to take advantage of that. You can uh, check that out at NJAH4. Just want you to know that uh, here shortly, uh, the live stream will be switched to a Gary Baptist Church YouTube channel. Uh, so we'll be watching for that. <clears throat> and I will give you uh, lots of warning as to when to switch uh, so you can uh, join us from inside uh, when we uh, begin uh, to uh, reconvene inside for indoor worship services. I uh, look forward to that. Uh, I've been talking to you over the last number of weeks about uh, some of my heroes. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, Tom Carson and uh, Chaplain Barry Black. Uh, today I uh, want to talk about Dale Lang. Uh, Dale Lang is from uh, Tabor, Alberta, a uh, small town uh, not far from uh, Lethbridge, Alberta, uh, in the southern part of the province. He, uh, well, he tells the story best. So I'd like you to uh, listen in on this. There aren't any words that you can find to express how you feel at a time like this. A piece of your heart is gone. And it can't come back. These are the words of Dale Lang after his son was tragically shot and killed at W.R. Myers High School in Tabor. April 28, 1999 was just another day, as Dale explained, until his family's lives were flipped upside down. That morning we had gone into Lethbridge to do a little bit of shopping. And we had uh, got the shopping done, got home just after lunchtime. And walking up the, uh, to the front door of our home, we could hear the phone ringing inside. We didn't consider that unusual. Pastors tend to get a lot of phone calls. Um, I unlocked the door. The phone kept ringing and ringing, so I thought maybe it's important. So I kind of rushed in, grabbed the phone, and said hello. And that's when everything began to change. Um, the voice on the other end of that call immediately said to me, is this Dale Lang? I said, uh, yes, it is. He said, well, this is the hospital calling. Your son Jason is in the hospital and it's very serious. You need to get here right now. We rushed into the hospital. The person who phoned us greeted us in the entrance of the emergency unit uh, with the words, Jason has been shot. In a million years, I don't think anyone could have convinced us ahead of time that we would ever see a school shooting in our small town of 8,000 people. So at that time in shock, we just kind of sat down, we said a prayer for our son and waited to hear word in his condition. Finally, the door to the room where the medical team was working to save Jason's life began to open and Diane and I stood up. Uh, as we stood up, a person came out of the room and they began to walk towards us. This person came over and they just very quietly said, Jason didn't make it. He says the thing that changed everything after Jason's death was the press conference that was held the following day. We give thanks for having Jason for 17 years. We give thanks for all our children. And we pray that people will see by this incident that lots of things have to change in our society. I talked about the sadness of the situation and how tragic it was that a, a young 14-year-old boy would come to such a place to do this. Um, I didn't know that was gonna have any impact really. Um, but I guess in hindsight, because I didn't speak angrily, because I didn't talk about 
the legal system or what should happen to the perpetrator of this murder. Uh, people were kind of blown away by that. And then of course the memorial service five days later for Jason, I uh, ended this, I, at the end of the service, uh, I began to pray for the young man who killed our son and I forgave him at that point. I really didn't understand that whole thing about forgiveness. I mean, yes, I'm a pastor and I've studied all those things and taught them and preached them and all those kinds of things, but until you have to experience a terrible thing like that, you really don't understand what it means. And so what happened for me was that um, about three months after Jason had been killed, I was in Medicine Hat actually speaking at a church on a Sunday evening. When I finished the talk, uh, a lady uh, came down very quickly out of the crowd, uh, got to me first, and she said, uh, she asked me this question, she said, I don't understand how you can forgive the boy who killed your son. My daughter was killed by a drunken driver, I think it was like 15 years ago, she said, and I am still angry about that, and I don't understand how you can forgive this boy for what he's done to your family. As I looked at that lady and I saw the anger in her face, that she spoke about, I began to realize what forgiveness was meaning to me. It was, uh, when God gave me the grace to forgive the boy who killed our son, because I don't think I could have done that by myself, um, it set me free from being trapped in the kind of place that lady had lived for 15 years. We all know that uh, forgiveness is a God-honoring characteristic. The big reason why forgiveness is a God-honoring characteristic is because God is the greatest forgiver that there ever was or ever will be. In fact, He was the one that uh, told us that we should forgive uh, just like we have been forgiven. So let's put uh, this God-honoring practice into practice and let's uh, follow the example of uh, great heroes uh, that have uh, done that in uh, extraordinary ways. Even uh, great heroes like Dale, uh, Dale Lang uh, from Tabor. Hope you have a great day. God bless you.